you feel like you are holding a baby. Hello friends, this is Pilot's Way channel and today we are reviewing a very interesting aircraft. This aircraft has a fascinating history. At first it was sold and marketed as Sport Cruiser Czech aircraft. Then on 21st January 2010, Piper Aircraft announced that they had licensed a derivative of the Sport Cruiser and would market it as this Piper Sport. Piper Sport is a minimally modified version of the existing Sport Cruiser. Imagine how good and reliable the aircraft should be that it underwent minimal changes and was sold under such famous brand as Piper. Designated Piper Sport, this aircraft had been in production from 2010 to 2011, and then, due to certain disagreements, the manufacturing of this aircraft stopped. So, this is basic configuration named Classic. As you can see, this is a traditional cockpit with gauges. What is the lift of speed? 48-51 knots. Is the speed here in kilometers per hour? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. All right, let's go. Look how green the fields are here. Wow, yeah, the view is really breathtaking. It's so beautiful. This is my first time flying ultralight aircraft and honestly I did not expect such level of comfort. It is very quiet. I want to take off my headphones to check. Damn, you can talk and hear everything. I can absolutely hear everything without a headset. You can easily communicate. It is so comfortable and quiet. It is equipped with 100 horsepower basic configuration Rotox 9R12. Even the basic configuration has electrical trim and flaps. It has a rather modest appetite, as it burns only 4.5 gallons per hour. You can fuel it with 100 LL, which will make it burn even less fuel. Let's do a little math. For one hour of flight, it can cover approximately 130 miles at cruise speed. So while covering 100 miles, it burns 3.2 gallons. Just think of it for a second. This is a rather good rate for a car, but we are talking about the aircraft. It is very sensitive, the control stick is very interesting. By the way, I've always wondered how different it is from yoke. I can't even describe how sensitive it is, it's like a sensor or something. Yeah, yeah, alright, let's climb a little. The cruise speed is 108 knots. Maximum speed of the basic configuration is 135 knots. It has a very low stall speed of only 31 knots. Some configurations of this aircraft can be equipped with 120 horsepower Jibiru 1200, which can reach even 162 knots and be very fast. Judging by these characteristics, this aircraft is very practical and can be used for many things. You know, not only for flying around the aerodrome. You can even travel somewhere. I think this aircraft is ideal for couples. It has a rather short takeoff roll of only 330 feet. This aircraft has several modifications classic with traditional cockpit, swap and swap plus with the glass cockpit and better avionics. This aircraft is equipped with ballistic recovery system. Simply put, in case of some emergency situation, the parachute is deployed and the aircraft lands safely. Imagine how safe it is. Moreover, the price of a new aircraft in Czech Republic is around 120,000 euros. Again, due to customs laws, this aircraft in Russia will be a little more expensive. In Russia, you can find this aircraft for $65,000. For this price, you will get a rather decent aircraft. And you are not going to find any old ones on the market, as the production of Sport Cruiser started in 2006. Piper Sport with almost identical characteristics is much more expensive than Sport Cruiser. However, there are little differences such as marketed brand, reinforced nose wheel and some other small modifications. 
вот еще кое-каких там uh, есть несколько улучшений. It feels like you hold a baby in your hand and you are a little worried, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we're landing now, right? After flying, I can say that every aircraft has a soul, and uh, this one is a friendly baby, and the first time I handled it uh, using control stick, you know, prior to that I flew aircraft with yoke, and uh, this again was the first time. And the feeling I got from that was like holding a baby in your hands, and you hold it gently and trying to figure out what is the best way to handle the aircraft, as it is very, incredibly sensitive. Ну, думаешь, а как вот тут аккуратненько, он очень чувствительный, очень. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Share with your friends so more people visit aerodromes. See you in the sky. Делитесь этим видео со своими друзьями, чтобы как можно больше людей приходило на аэродромы. Ну и до встречи в небе.